going to be discussing radio buttons and story caption. So this feature right here is printing passage. So one of the things we are discussing is a story caption. So where it says explode is where it says print passage. So yeah, you would just put this wherever you want. For example, like the story caption and it would print it. The print feature. So without using the print feature, like you wouldn't be able to put hair on. This is, a, this is basically for if you want the player to know, keep have, have a way to keep track, or if you want to keep track while you're developing. So that that's what the print feature is being used for. It doesn't just need to be used for the passage, um, but you would use print and then whatever variable, and it print it wherever. So I throw down the word, the word automatic print, and then that's that part. You can also see some other details, which we'll get into uh, further down the road. So explode is pretty much the same stuff as we explained in the first video. Right here is actually a whole nother passage. So this is actually using the include feature. So this also has an include feature. See where it says include function. Uh, using the include function, we're gonna have everything that shows here. So see, uh, we have the include function uh, using the include to include story caption. So if we got rid of that, backspace, and then toggle shift, refresh. Now it's not there. It doesn't include it anymore. Now the additional demonstrations be this one. So I'm just kind of demonstrating some ways to clean up the environment or better organize text, images, etc. So this is a little bit of my script stuff. It's a bit of a mess. Now by adding NOBR, that's this right here at the beginning and this at the end. Make sure you remember to have a slash at the last one. But now it's all crumpled up. So yeah, it's saved a lot of space, but now it's hard to find when does Charles speak or when does Alex speak. It's it's let's add some break space again. So if you end up using N O B uh N O B R, which means uh, no breaks. See, so this is right here. So just press an enter bunch is not gonna do it. So what you really need to do the right way is you need to add the, the BR, the break. So now, you got a break after each person's speech. Main focus, you know, giving the player some options. So that was right here. So using the radio button, you can create a variable like age, gender, hair, and you can search for my character. When you use the radio button feature to really seal in the deal, make sure you also have this cap feature to so just make sure that basically the program is keeping tabs and be like, hey, something really important is happening. Make sure to capture this before we leave. We'll go with brown uh, shell. All right, there we go. So, what you're seeing right now is this coming to life. Um, this picture right here is this. So when we picked male, we towed it, we want gender to be two. And when gender is two, it shows you this picture, a boy. To have a little bit more of a complicated version here, um, this one actually has hair and gender, adult, woman, blonde, chuck. So now we are only showing this one. Um, when you're doing variables like this, you got to make sure you got to do else if, else if. You can't just keep on doing the same, same thing. What's the difference? Let's go with right. Chuck. So now it's showing this line of code. 
do something like just skip the whole decision altogether. And you know, just have the default. When we use skip the decision, it just went straight to the bedroom. Skipped all this other crap. So all this don't show show, transform, transform to, and then straight to the bedroom. So that was using the go to feature. So as soon as the player ends up on this passage, it captures whatever information it's telling you to capture, and then goes straight to where you want to go. So if you just want to create some sort of passage just to kind of process information before they go there, there you go. And they won't know the difference. All right, thanks for watching. Till next time, see you on the flip side.